As a leader, you usually wish to empower your team. After all, you get to delegate more, the team is more productive, innovative, and achieves its goals. It's got good for the business, the team, and you, of course. But how do you empower your team? How do you delegate success and don't abdicate responsibilities? Here is a formula you will remember. It will help you get started, succeed, and sustain the empowerment of your team. Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from MP. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools, and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question, how do you empower your team? The formula for empowerment is empowerment equals direction times autonomy times support. In this video, we'll break down what each of these elements means and how you can implement them to empower your team. Let's get started. First, a definition. Employee empowerment refers to the manner in which companies provide their employees with anything and everything they need to succeed. In other words, when a leader gives the team the confidence needed to succeed, and they know it, they can accomplish their goals. Empowering your team is important because it addresses several common problems in the workplace. Firstly, a lack of direction can lead to confusion and disengagement among team members, which can ultimately result in missed deadlines and poor quality work. Secondly, micromanagement can stifle creativity and innovation. It tires you down and can be detrimental to both the team and the organization as a whole. Finally, without proper support, team members may struggle to meet their goals, which can lead to burnout and staff turnover, an unhappy bunch. Okay, direction. Direction means providing clear goals and objectives to your team. As a leader, you should ensure that your team knows what they are working towards and what their priorities are. The team has purpose and a customer-centric mission. Autonomy. Autonomy refers to giving your team members the freedom to make decisions, take ownership of their work, and even experiment in the face of obstacles. Now, we also know that without mastery, the team cannot be autonomous. Without the right competence and skills level, the risk of the team and process failure is serious. Also, team members won't feel safe and secure if they know they are not competent enough. Support. Support encompasses the resources part, such as tools, equipment, and system. Nothing is more frustrating than not having available and reliable information and equipment. Support also includes the human aspect of providing guidance, coaching, training, feedback, recognition, and celebration. So, how do you get started with empowering your team? The formula gives you a stepped approach. First, engage the team, listen, and provide direction. Second, ensure that the members are equipped and competent before the third step, which is to give them autonomy. That can be the hard part for you because the team needs to operate without you controlling them. You need to set up the boundaries, make sure that whatever they do is safe for themselves, doesn't compromise the customer promises, and that they don't break the bank. In other words, you allow them to take calculated risk. Fourth, provide support 
and practice the foundations for good relations that we covered in the video, Develop Good Relations at Work. I'll add the link to the description uh, section below. Um, and that's part of sustaining empowerment because you will provide them with continuous feedback. What more can you do to sustain besides supporting the team, recognizing them and celebrating success? Well, with the team, reflect and adjust your approach, uh, but also raise the bar for the expectation of performance. There is no end to performance improvement. So, let's wrap up. By following the formula, empowerment is equal to direction times autonomy times support, you can provide your team with the tools they need to achieve their goals and contribute to the success of your organization. An empowered team accepts full responsibility for its performance, takes initiative and makes decisions, solves problems, innovates and improves. The outcome is great results are achieved, work is meaningful both for the team and you, the leader. You can focus on strategy and systems, positive relations exist within the team, and finally, joy at work. And this is the good quote for this episode. Richard Branson wrote, Empowerment is about creating a culture of accountability and trust, where employees feel empowered to take risks and innovate. Isn't this beautiful? You may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. If you would like to meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching, send me an email at wwd at mp.solutions. I will gladly start a conversation with the first three viewers who contact me. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well and empower your team.